Simon is a juvenile salmon living in a small but beautiful bay in the Puget Sound. The seagrass bed is his home. The long leaves of the seagrass create a forest that Simon uses as a shelter and as a hunting ground. Thanks to the seagrass, Simon has access to a variety of delicious foods, like worms, crabs, and shrimp. The seagrass is like a fridge that automatically fills itself with fresh food. Yum! Simon has lots of friends in the sea, and he loves to make silly jokes with them. One day, Simon had an idea for a new silly joke to tell the oysters. Struggling to contain his excitement, Simon greeted his friends, Hey oysters, what's up? The oysters replied, Same old, same old, just filtering yummy tiny microorganisms from the water for lunch. Then Simon asked the oysters, Why don't oysters donate to charity? The oysters looked at each other puzzled and said, Uh, don't know. Simon replied, Because they're shellfish, <laughs> laughing his face off. The oysters started laughing too. But seriously guys, you're the best, Simon went on. You're fun to hang out with, and you also do a great job at keeping the water in the bay clean and free from nasty diseases. I really respect the work you do. Without you, the bay would look much different, and not in a good way. Simon began to swim away, but the oysters called out to him. We have a joke for you. When Simon turned, they asked him, How does the seagrass get its spots? Simon looked puzzled. Spots? Seagrass? That's a tough one. Let me get back to you guys. And he swam off. It was just another day in the life in beautiful, sheltered Puget Sound. However, a few days later, Simon noticed that something strange was happening to the seagrass. They were getting spots. In fact, the seagrass looked sick with strange dark bruises on its leaves. Hey, wait a minute. This must be what the oysters meant by their joke, Simon thought out loud. But it's not so funny. He moved closer and noticed swarms of tiny, slimy microbes on the leaves. This can't be good. The seagrass is sick. Simon began to get agitated. This is a big problem, he said. If the seagrass dies, those of us who live here will be homeless and without food, including me. I need to find a solution fast. But who can help me? Simon thought a moment longer, scratching his little salmon chin. And then it hit him. The oysters, they might be able to filter the microbes from the water and save the seagrass. He swam as fast as he could to the oyster reef and asked for help. The oyster said they definitely noticed a weird taste in the water lately, and maybe it was those slimy bugs that Simon saw. But the oysters felt just fine. The bugs didn't seem to be making them sick, so they agreed to help. And they began filtering the water as fast as they could. A few hours later, the bay was looking a lot clearer. It worked, even better than a vacuum cleaner. What a relief, Simon exclaimed. The seagrass was able to recover, and everything seemed to go back to normal. Simon asked the oysters if they knew where the little bugs might have come from. They said they didn't know, but it had been awfully warm lately. Maybe it has something to do with this unusual summer weather, the oyster said. As Simon swam off, he wondered what might be changing in Puget Sound, and if the changes had something to do with the seagrass sickness. Turns out, the oysters were right. Scientists know that warm water temperatures makes it easier for many diseases to spread. And guess what? Things might even get worse in the future as the ocean warms up due to climate change. How exactly this will play out is still being studied. Scientists are also looking at other things that might influence the well-being of the seagrass, and whether or not filter feeders like oysters can reduce the impacts and spread of disease. This story ends with a happy ending, for now. But you can imagine how climate change may influence the relationship between seagrass, oysters, and those nasty little bugs. Tell us what you think will happen to Simon and his friends.